Hello and welcome to my latest weekly property news. Well, um, the market is proving incredibly busy, but in a strange way at the moment. And this exactly tied in with what we're seeing here with Zoopla's latest house price index data that came out. It's a really good sum up of what they see going on as the market at the moment. Now, Zoopla were predicting quite a big house price drop this year, and it's not been as big as they expected. Its prices have remained quite resilient. They are definitely down. So we've seen the biggest slowdown in price growth since 2009. This time last year, the 12-month year-on-year data was sitting at a 9.2% growth in house prices over the last 12 months. And over the last 12 months now, we're looking at a drop of 1.1% as a national average. That has some regional variances. But interestingly, 90% of house, air, house marking areas are showing a reduction in house price growth. So house price growth has definitely cooled. Uh, the market, though, has remained more resilient. And who have been the big, big buyers in this last 12 months? Well, first time buyers, which might surprise you because everyone talks about rising mortgage rates. Um, and the reason why they've been a huge sector of the market is because of rising rents. Uh, many, many people have grown a rental portfolio based on debt and having a mortgage. And of course, with landlords seeing those mortgage costs increase, that has been passed on to renters. So uh, rental payments have gone up. So a lot of first time buyers jumping on the housing ladder, seeing it still as a more affordable way of living than renting. The second biggest group um, counted for um, one in three transactions over the last 12 months were cash buyers. Um, so people who were sitting on lumps of cash they are wading into the market. Now, that interestingly is quite perverse and a bit counterintuitive because, of course, they will be seeing increased returns on their savings. So sat there with big savings, getting better interest rates because bank base rate has been going up. Um, but interestingly, what it shows is that they are simply more realistic and less able, less requiring a cheaper price to compensate for a higher mortgage. What do I mean by that? So whenever any market shifts, so we've gone from a very full boom seller's market in the pandemic to a buyer's market now. It takes a while for buyer and seller price expectations to become aligned. And that is exactly the problem that we are seeing at the moment. Anybody who's reliant on mortgage debt really wants the seller to pay for their extra cost by getting the house at a much cheaper price. But the reality is unless a seller needs to sell, they simply won't sell. They will wait out that slight dip and wait for a better price. Cash buyers not reliant on a mortgage, therefore not seeing higher interest rates, are more realistic with their offers and therefore they are getting more agreed. So actually, perversely, stronger buyers paying slightly more than what people with mortgage would like to pay, but getting deals agreed. And that's a salient lesson for anyone at the moment. Um, yes, the market's a bit tougher, um, but it's not completely on its knees and uh, sellers still have an idea of what they want. They are, most of my sellers are very realistic. They understand that prices have dropped. They know they're not gonna get the prices that we were talking about during the pandemic, but equally um, they understand that they just need to be realistic about that. So um, yeah, we are seeing um, not bad transactions with cash buyers as well. Um, and next year, uh, property transactions will continue to rise for those first time buyers and cash buyer markets. But we also predict, and Zoopla do as well, that mortgagees will simply become more realistic about their uh, interest payments and therefore make more realistic offers. They'll have to align their expectations. You might not get as much as you wanted, um, but I think that they will then enter the market a bit more strongly. Um, well, on the market, um, there's three big portals that dominate house price, uh, house property searches. Right Move, which of course we all know about, Zoopla, and On the Market. Um, on the Market was launched, um, gosh, 10 years ago now, basically looking at taking over that dominance that Right Move has. And it was set up by a group of estate agents who were basically very cross about the amount of money that Right Move were demanding. Right Move are a hugely successful company. Um, their net profit margin was, I haven't looked at it recently, but it was at around 78%. Um, so yeah, had clearly created a great model and the buyer loves right move. So on the market, or, or as they were then called Agents Mutual, launched in a chance, hope to get rid of that dominance of right move. They had a one other portal rule. So as an agent, if you signed up with them, you could only be with one other portal. 
So uh, any agent signed up tended to drop Zoopla. So poor old Zoopla that we've not really talked about. They were sat there before as kind of right move Zoopla with a big dominant portals. Well, Zoopla therefore became less dominant and right move became even more dominant because Zoopla actually had a better search engine underpinning it. It was a newer model. Um, so lots of buyers actually quite liked Zoopla and Zoopla are very good on their valuation tool as well. Their algorithms are a lot sharper. So, um, yeah, sadly, uh, a lot of people who buyers who were looking at Zoopla then suddenly found that agents weren't with them. They were with Rightmove and Mu Agents Mutual, and they just shipped over to Rightmove. So Rightmove became even more dominant. So we now have these three big portals, and out in the news a couple of weeks ago, CoStar have bought on the market for £100 million. CoStar are a big American property group, and they are wanting on the market to become the most dominant portal overtaking Rightmove and Zoopla. Um, how are they going to do that? Well, they're promising three times marketing spend to attract consumers. They're going to invest heavily in the search engines um, to make it a better consumer experience. They've got to basically make the buyer love them, really. That's what has to happen to shift Rightmove's dominance. Um, so what are you going to see out there as a result of all of this? Well, you are probably going to be bombarded with property marketing. Um, right move have got an enormous war chest they have been a hugely profitable company for a long time they could easily outstrip three times marketing spend which costar is promising to do with on the market um so they will up their advertising as well so you are going to see a lot of advertising that all could be good for us as agents might make you think more about moving and keep our transaction levels high so let's watch what happens to on the market it'll be quite an interesting to see how that portal particularly adapts and uh, moves forward with their new investor well of course it was um 11 plus results out a couple of weeks ago i do hope that if you had a child doing it they did well if they didn't don't worry it's not the end of the world we have some fabulous schools in Tunbridge Wells that aren't in the grammar system. So um, I come from Norfolk, didn't have a grammar system there. Um, I find it all quite strange, really, but I understand how you can get caught up in it. But if your child did do really well and you want to move more to the St John's area, you won't necessarily get in now. Um, you, the cutoff for choosing your, your school is really short. You've only got a few more weeks left. So we won't be able to secure that sale for you now, but you might want to move there in due course to make an easier commute for your child walking. We have got some fabulous school um, properties for sale in the St John's area. Um, I'm going to run through a few of them now. How about this one at 18 Somerset Road? Um, really beautiful, five bedrooms, lovely open plan kitchen, 35 Hotwood Gardens, detached off-road parking on a guide of 895, sorry, that's Somerset Road on 835. Um, Colford and Park Road, I've got a couple for sale there at 750, negotiating on one of those though at the moment. Um, they're lovely. The one um, that uh, is still available has got excellent bedroom space actually, really, really strong four doubles. Um, Crendon Park, nice little affordable property at 675, really well presented. Stevens Road, this is beautiful, this house, very, very lovely. Um, Stevens Road, very desirable, um, four bedrooms, 800,000. Twining Close, so in the Royal Wells um, Park, what was the old hospital, really lovely property. The owners um, sorted out the kitchen configuration. It's now got a lovely open plan kitchen guide of 900. Um, about to launch one on Silverdale Road, which is beautiful, had a loft extension and a extension on the ground floor. That will be going on at a guide of 700. And if you've got a bit more fresh field, a detached property, um, five bedrooms on at a guide of 1.15 with off-road parking. So lots there you can see in the St. John's area to tempt you if you're realistic on your offer and you want to live in that part of the world. Hope you have a great week. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.